Hey, Adam G here. So this morning, Gotway released CAT files for the updated linkage geometry. And of course, there is no data associated with it. So uh, instead of going to manufacturing, let's do a little bit of research and find out if this is worth anything and, and what it actually does. So um, in order to do that, um, uh, in a 3D CAD, I had to model the suspension tube, uh, the sus suspension frame, um, the cylinder and the, um, the, the both parts of the uh, shock. And of course, I imported the linkage geometry that they had shared. So uh, I, I, the data sheet, the spec sheet for the wheel says that the uh, wheel travel is 80 millimeters up and down. So um, I set up the suspension tube here to, if you look at this number here where my mouse is right now, that's in millimeters, that's the uh, suspension travel. So it goes from zero to 80, uh, that is the limit that I put on the simulation here. And um, uh, the number that we are looking for is actually uh, what is the travel of the of the shock itself. So, excuse me, if you look here, uh, there is a number, it's, it's hard to see because it's on the middle of the shock instead of the surface, but uh, it, it, what is it? It's one point something, one millimeter. And um, if we collapse the suspension, the, that number goes to 31 something. So. So we have, uh, we have 30 millimeters of the shock travel. So let's grab a calculator here really quick and uh, uh, do 80 millimeters of the suspension travel divided by 30 of the shock travel. Okay, so the ratio is 2.6. So this is heck of a lot better than master V1 and V2, which was uh, about 3.5, 3.6, which was terrible. That's why everybody was bottoming out. 2.6 is already I mean, it's, it's, it's really a lot better. I would like to really see that around 2, maybe 2.4, but 2.6 is not far from it. So um, I, I think that this linkage is going to do really um, good things for us. Um, so anyways, another thing I wanted to, another question I wanted to answer is what's going to happen to that linkage when it's actually uh, in use, is it going to break and what's uh, really what the stress uh, profile is going to look like. So for that we, um, uh, we do static stress calculation. So I set up a study here and um, okay so um, um, by the way the linkage that I'm showing here is already uh, my version of it. I already modified the um, modified the geometry of it slightly to uh, take care of the internal stresses because I like to have decent, healthy safety margin in things like that. So uh, where you see blue, uh, the safety margin is six or higher. And um, now where you see green, um, the minimum uh, stress safety margin is dipping down to 4.5, which it's still excellent. It, 4.5 safety margin is absolutely beautiful. So you can see that there are three areas where uh, this guy is going to be stressed out to um, uh, to the uh, green safety margin levels uh, right there. And and that is truly fantastic. So I'm going to be um, um, I'm going to I'm going to manufacture this, uh, install it, make sure that I'm not hitting anything because I stretch thing, things, I enlarge things, and um, so I need to do a proof of concept in the actual installation. Uh, my Master Pro is going to be updated here as soon as the shock uh, comes. Um, so what, what else can we do with this data? So if we grab a calculator and um, assume that the wheel um, weight is 120 plus uh, 220 pounds for the uh, weight of the rider with gear, uh, it's 340 and then times 2.6 for the safety margin. Uh, I'm sorry, not safety, but the ratio that we calculated before was 2.6. Uh, that is 884. So I'm anticipating that 1000 pound spring is going to be enough. Uh, but mind you that this is only static, um, static weight. Uh, if you're in a a jump situation where you're adding large dynamic force, uh, I think that you're going to need 1500 pound spring. So I ordered for myself 1000 pound spring. That's the initial test. 
and then I'm going to test 1500 uh, pound uh, after I know how the 1000 pound uh, behaves. It may be enough for me, but 1500 may be the next update. So anyways, that's it for now. I'll be back with, um, uh, with the final results um, as soon as the shock arrives, it's already on order. So anyways, if you wanted to order those uh, compliant uh, shocks, spring shocks, Marty had released a video about, I don't know, a few days ago. And in the description of the video, he has uh, two or three uh, Amazon links with um, mountain bike shocks that are relevant for this. So anyways, take care.